SourceForge is a web-based source code repository. It acts as a centralized location for software developers to control and manage free and open source software development. It was the first to offer this service for free to open source projects. The website runs a version of SourceForge Enterprise Edition, forked from the last open source version available. As of March 2014, the SourceForge repository hosts more than 430,000 projects and has more than 3.7 million registered users, although not all are active. The domain SourceForge.net attracted at least 33 million visitors by August 2009 according to a Compete.com survey. SourceForge offers free access to hosting and tools for developers of free slash open source software, competing with other providers such as GitHub, RubyForge, Tigres.org, Bounty Source, Launchpad, Burly OS, Java Forge, GNU Savannah, and Gaitorius. Concept SourceForge is a web based source code repository, which acts as a centralized location for free and open source software projects. It was the first to offer this service for free to open source projects. Project developers have access to centralized storage and tools for managing projects although it is best known for providing revision control systems such as CVS, SVN, Bazaar, Git or Mercurial. Major features include project wikis, metrics and analysis, access to a MySQL database, and unique subdomain URLs. The vast number of users at SourceForge.net exposes prominent projects to a variety of developers and can create a positive feedback loop. As a project's activity rises, SourceForge.net's internal ranking system makes it more visible to other developers who may join and contribute to it. Given that many open source projects fail due to lack of developer support, exposure to such a large community of developers can continually breathe new life into a project. Revenue Model SourceForge's traditional revenue model is through advertising banner sales on their website. In 2006, SourceForge Incorporated reported quarterly takings of 6.5 million US dollars. In 2009, SourceForge reported a gross quarterly income of 23 million US dollars through media and e-commerce streams. In 2011, a revenue of 20 million US dollars was reported for the combined value of the SourceForge, Slashdot and Freecode holdings prior to SourceForge's acquisition. More recently, Additional revenue generation schemes, such as bundleware models, have been trialed, with the goal of further improving SourceForge's revenue. History SourceForge, founded in 1999 by VA Software, was the first provider of a centralized location for free and open source software developers to control and manage software development and offering this service for free. Temporary bans in China In September 2002, SourceForge.net was temporarily banned in China. The website was banned again in China, for about a month, in July 2008. On August 6, 2012, SourceForge.net was banned again. Several days later the ban was lifted. Attacks and outage of SourceForge.net SourceForge has faced critical attacks on its databases. In 2006, Attackers targeted the SourceForge.net database and most of its users were advised to change their passwords in order to remain secure. In December 2007, SourceForge.net was offline for a while due to another attack. It is unclear exactly what happened, since there were no reports about the outage. On January 27, 2011, SourceForge faced another attempt. The attack was mainly against some of the developer infrastructure and resulted in the exploitation of several SourceForge.net servers. SourceForge said, the attack resulted in an exploit of several SourceForge.net servers, and we have proactively shut down a handful of developer-centric services to safeguard data and protect the majority of our services. According to a SourceForge.net announcement on their blog, as a short-term response, they have taken down services such as CVS Hosting, VVC, New Release Upload Capability, and Interactive Shell Services. The company is silent about the type of attack and from where those attempts were made. Suit by SCPP, Social Copyright Tar Copyright Seville des Productes de Phonograms en France is an umbrella group for a variety of organizations in France. In November 2008, 
SCPP initiated a suit against SourceForge.net, Vuz, LimeWire, and Morpheus for hosting the P2P file sharing application Shariaza that facilitates mass copyright infringement. SourceForge was not sued for hosting copyrighted material itself, but for hosting Vuz. Apache Relicense, in June 2012. SourceForge released its underlying software, named Allura, under the Apache license which was then accepted by Apache Foundation for incubation. Attackers compromised a download mirror server, on September 26, 2012 it was announced that attackers compromised a download mirror server for the SourceForge software repository, rigging the installer package for phpMyAdmin, a web-based MySQL server interface, with a backdoor. Acquisition in September 2012, Dice Holdings acquired SourceForge from its previous owner GeekNet. Dev shared were controversy. In July 2013, SourceForge announced that it will provide project owners an optional feature called DevShare, which places closed source ad supported content into the binary installers and gives the project part of the ad revenue. Opinions of this new feature vary with some complaining about downloaders not being as aware of what they are getting or being able to trust that the downloaded content, whereas others see it as a reasonably harmless option that keeps individual projects and users in control. In November 2013, GIMP, a popular free image manipulation program, removed its download from SourceForge, citing misleading download buttons that can potentially confuse customers, as well as SourceForge's own Windows installer which bundles third-party offers. In a statement, GIMP called SourceForge a once useful and trustworthy place to develop and host FLOSS applications that now faces a problem with the ads they allow on their sites. Project of the Month Since 2002 SourceForge features a Project of the Month, Reception. Usage As of May 2013, the SourceForge repository hosts more than 300,000 projects and has more than 3 million registered users although not all are active. The domain SourceForge.net attracted at least 33 million visitors by August 2009 according to a Compete.com survey. Country Restrictions In its terms of use, SourceForge states that its services are not available to users in countries on the sanction list of the U.S. Office of Foreign Assets Control. Since 2008, access to the secure server has been blocked for people from those countries. As of January 2010, all access including downloads was blocked for those users. This meant that all people whose IP addresses appear to belong to those countries were prevented from using the site. A month later, the restrictions were relaxed so that individual projects could indicate whether or not their software should be blocked. These restrictions have drawn criticism as being counter to the free software movement, the open source software movement and the principles of making software available to all without discrimination. See also Comparison of open source software hosting facilities, references External links, official website, The SourceForge Story, by James Maguire